JP Cervoni here. Thank you for your time to come in here and talk some guitar stuff. You know, uh, I get a lot of questions uh, about sounds. So I think we should uh, invest a little bit of time to show my approach to getting uh, quality sounds in a fast and cheap way. I'll explain what cheap means, okay? I used to be in the 80s, one of those guys with the refrigerators in the back. You know what I mean? Compressor, power, extra power, delay, MXR flanger, uh, even tight harmonizer, blah, 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 blah. Whatever that was. Mainly out of the choice to get a bunch of sounds, which, uh, you know, I do enough sessions that you need to have a, a, enough variety of, uh, of choices. We dumped all that stuff and we went into pedal world. And I do have a big pedal board that I use a lot. And uh, if you guys go to the uh, exotic uh, pedal site, I have a couple of really nice videos uh, showing off the RC and the BBE attached to my pedal board. And you'll see the, 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 the pedal board that I use, uh, which I like. I like it, uh, uh, I like it a lot, but uh, got tired of it going around a lot of pedals, a lot of wires, all that stuff, and you know, carrying this bulky thing around, and it's on stage a lot of time here in LA, if we go play small clubs, like La Vellie or the Big Potato or the Cozy's Blues Club, there's no space on stage, and people st step all over your stuff and everything, so I got tired of the pedal board, and, uh, and I said, well, how can I approach getting quality sounds with uh, minimal equipment? And I have two solutions. One, is what I have set up now, and uh, the uh, it's fairly sophisticated. It looks simple. It's sophisticated in the approach. So let's do a tech uh, uh, explanation here. I myself like to use uh, uh, effects in front and in the back of the amp, meaning in the front, distortion, compression, chorus, flanger, uh, wah. Uh, octave pedals, you know, that, that kind of stuff, right? Analog, usually analog stuff that needs to go from the guitar to the pedals, pedals to in front of the amp. Uh, in the back, uh, I mean uh, via loop. So, delay and reverbs mainly. Choruses, it gives you a different feel when you use a chorus or flanger in the, in the loop. But mainly, 90% of the delays and the, and the reverb have to go uh, in the back for me. It doesn't work when I have a, a delay pedal in the front. Just the pedal itself doesn't react the way I like to react. I like to hear a sophisticated quality reverb and delay. Just like uh, what you get in a recording session, where your amp is plugged in, everything else goes into the board, and from the, from the board, the engineer will add reverb, delay, quality stuff, lexicon, you know, all the, all the good stuff. So I'm used to do the sound, and I like to play with the sound live as well. We used to do this with the refrigerator racks, stereo, three amps, and all that stuff. Board stiff to carry around all that stuff. I sold my same eye, you know, <laughs> to carry the stuff around. So, so I went. I scaled down to the pedal board that I was telling you, but then I scaled down even more, cause uh, there is a way to do it, and. Uh, Two separate ways to do it. The first way is uh, what you see now. Maybe you can pan down and show him what I got. And simply, I only have, look at what you guys, what I have. I have one pedal that has many, many pedals inside. This is an old GT5 Boss Roland pedal. It's got 128 uh, pedals in. And uh, I can set up my Sevilla banks. Each bank has got five choices that, I'm, uh, that I set up. And so I can scroll through these and I can have as many sounds as I want. Now, I don't know, I've only used maybe 10, 15 things that are in front of me all the time. And uh, the trick here, though, what, what, what is really cool using a pedal like this is the fact that this particular pedal allows me to make a split. I can split where I want my effects to go. So I'll, I'll tell the pedal to send me chorus, distortion, compression whatever what's in the front of the amp, via extra cables, I go in the back into the loop and I get my delays. So that's pretty well the basic uh, 
the basic idea of using uh, many many pedals uh, all in one and getting a lot of sounds and I'm gonna show you the different sounds I'll just show you what I have you can do much more but you'll get an idea from the five six that I have set up mm -hmm. 